welcome to Art with Carol. Today we have a really fun art project. It's kind of a combination of collage and sculpture. And it is a model magic panda bear in the bamboo forest. So if you would like to join along and do this activity with me, you can get an art packet and you'll find the art packets in all the playrooms in Minneapolis and St. Paul. And in the art packet will be all the supplies that you need for today's art. So let's get started. So first of all, let's take a look at everything that we have in our art packet for today. We have a canvas. And on the back of this canvas is an easel. It's already attached. And that's, you can just bend it like this and then bend the other one. And that will keep the easel up for later. So we have the canvas. Now let's open our art packet. And here's what we're gonna find. Okay, so we have two packets of Model Magic, which we are going to use to make our panda bear. And then we have bamboo. And so, if you can see this, you're gonna have all the pieces that you need made out of cardstock, leaves, and bamboo shapes to make a bamboo forest. And then we have our glue stick, and then we also have a little green square, and this will be where our panda bear will sit. So now let's get started. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out all the pieces off my canvas, and I'm going to make the bamboo forest. So what you're gonna do is you can take the different color green And you'll see we have these two pieces right here and that's where I'm gonna glue it and then I'm gonna glue on my leaves. So it'll be like kind of over to the side cause we're gonna have actually four. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna have the lighter green. I'm gonna put it like right here next to it. And then we'll have the darker green and then the lighter green. So before I add the leaves, I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue these shapes on my canvas. So you can take your glue stick and just gonna put a nice line right here. Then I'm gonna press down and I'll do the same right below. And the glue dries absolutely clear, so don't worry about that. Here we go. And then just kind of press it down with your fingers. And then we'll go to this one. There we go. There we go. And then kind of use your finger and run it over, press it down in there. Yeah. So it can dry. Push that down, press again. And then have our last one here. And 
and okay now we're ready for the leaves and what I'm going to do is you can just take a leaf you can put one right here another one down over here and one over here and then one over here so now that I know where they want them to go I'll take my glue and can just kind of make a little circle here and press the leaf in it can also glue the back of the leaf if you want Okay, now I'm going to get the lighter leaves and I think I'll add one here and another leaf right here, another leaf right here, and one more right over on the other side. All right. Now, again, I'm just going to glue the back. And you can press it on. One right there. And right here. Now, do the same once again with my darker green. And this time I'm just gonna do it on the canvas. Put it there and glue it put a little circle on the canvas there we go and remember the glue dries clear so no worry about that you can kind of scooch it around here we go glue that right there And our last dark green, I think I'll just do the back. All right, and our last bamboo. Here we go. And right there. And now we are getting ready for our panda bear, which I'm very excited about. We're going to use Model Magic, which is very easy to mold. It's really kind of fun to work with. And then it dries overnight. Okay. Now I have my last leaf right here. And I'm going to, when I'm done, I'm going to set this to my, off to the side, let it dry. Before I do that, I'm just going to kind of press my fingers to make sure it's all nice and flat. Okay. Set it to the side to dry. And now, also in the packet, you have some instructions, and the instructions will kind of show you the different shapes we're going to need to make to make the polar bear. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to take our white model magic, 
and we're going to make three shapes with this Model Magic. Now you may want to make more than one Panda Bear. So what I would do is let's just start with taking half of the Model Magic, then we can use the other if we're going to make another pole. Um, keep saying Polar Bear, but Panda Bear. So I'm going to make three shapes. The first one is going to be for the body of the Panda Bear. So it's going to, I'm going to go take the Model Magic and I'm just going to take it in between my palms and I'm going to roll it nice and smooth. So I just kind of take it and twirl it round and round. Here we go. And then we have the body. I'm going to put it right here. The next shape is going to be for the head. So it's going to be about maybe half the size again of the body. And again, what I'm going to do is put it in my palms and then I go round and around and then it makes it nice and smooth. And then we're going to do the snout and that's going to be the smallest. So again, I'm going to put it in my palms of my hands and go round and round, kind of fun until it's nice and smooth. So if you look closely, you'll see the larger circle, medium circle, and very small circle. And I have half left in case I want to make another panda bear. So now I'm going to make the arms and legs of the panda bear. So again, I'm going to take out and the ears and the eyes. So then I'm going to take a piece, kind of like a square, like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forth with my palms. And so it makes it into kind of like a worm shape if you look at it. But I want to make sure it's nice and smooth. And so then at the each end of that shape, I'm going to kind of press it down. Make that worm shape again, going back and forth. And I have this shape and I'm just going to put it right here. Now I'm going to make the next thing I'm going to make are two squares for the legs. So what I'm going to do is again, I take that shape and I'm going to go back and forth. And just kind of push the ends of it to make that square or kind of a cylinder like this. Take this piece, go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then press the ends. Okay. You can kind of take a look here. Now I'm going to make the ears and the eyes and the nose. So the ears, again, they're going to be little circles. So what I'm going to do is you take it, put it in the palm of your hand, go round and round in the palm of your hand. And then we'll take the other shape, go round and round in the palm of your hand. But then what I'm going to do, they're together. I'm going to flatten it. So I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to flatten and I'm going to flatten. These will be the ears. And now for the nose. Or actually, no, we'll do the eyes next. We're going to do the same thing for the eyes. We're going to take it in our palms. We're going to go round and round. And then we're going to push it, kind of flatten it. Do the same thing with the other eye, go round and round, and then flatten it. All right. Now I'm just going to kind of take a look and make sure like they're the same size. Okay. And now for the nose. The nose is just going to be a round circle and I don't have to flatten it, so I'm going to put it in my palm. And I'm going to go around and around, make it nice and smooth. And I'm going to put it there. So now let's make sure you have all the shapes. And I have the directions. And so if I'm going too fast, don't worry because you have the picture directions and you can follow it step by step. So I have the body, the head, the snout, 
arms, legs, ears, the eyes, and the nose. And last but not least, we're gonna take a little bit because we need the pupils of the eyes. And they're just gonna be two small round pieces. So then, it's gonna be the smallest of all. We're just gonna take it, kind of take your finger and kind of go round and round. And I'm gonna put it like right there. Actually, I'm gonna put it on the eyes. So I'm gonna put it, here's one of the eyes, kind of flatten it. I'm gonna take this round and round. I'm gonna flatten it and I'll put it on this eye right here. All right. So now, let's take a look here. All right. We have everything. I have some leftover clay. And now let's assemble. So we're gonna start with the body. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the arms and we're gonna put, we're gonna kind of curve them. So take your finger and kind of curve it like that. And we're gonna place it right on top of that circle. The biggest circle. So you can see, there we go. And then what we're gonna do is, once we have the arms on, we're gonna put the legs on. So then we're gonna stick the legs, one right onto one part of the circle and the other onto the other part. So take a minute and see if yours looks like mine, what I'm doing. There we go. Now let's put Let's take a look here and now let's put the head on top. So the head's gonna go right on top of where the arms are. There we go. And now we're gonna add the snout. And I'm going to make my snout just a little bit smaller. It's a little bit too big. So I'm going to take it in half. I'm going to kind of twirl it around. There we go. And the snout, I'm going to press onto the face right like that and kind of flatten it just a little bit. There we go. And now I'm also going to take my nose, my the black, and I'm gonna make that smaller too. And I'm just gonna kinda of twirl it around and around. And then I'm gonna put it on my snout. Here we go. All right. So we have it almost all done. But what we're gonna add next, we're gonna add the eyes. And so we're gonna put the eyes on one side. And what I'm gonna do is my eyes might be just a little bit too big, so I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller. I'll take the white out and I'll start with the black and I'm gonna go round and round in a circle. I'm gonna flatten it. And before I put the whites of the eyes on this time, I'm gonna start by putting one eye over here, and then the other one on the other side of the nose. And if you can't see me too well doing this, you can always follow the directions from the pictures. So there we go, we have the snout, and now we can use the white to make the eyes. Go in the circle again, kind of make them nice and round, twirl it around, and then add the eyes on, the white of the eyes on. There we go. And the nice thing about working with Model Magic is you can keep on shaping it 
And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of shaping it. And now I'm going to add the ears on. So you take the circles that we flattened and then you can just add them on the side of the head. Just like that. And take your time and kind of shape it so that your panda bear starts looking the way that you want it to look. And now we're gonna do the other side, the other ear, just kind of press it into that. It should stay pretty well. Just kind of press it and shape it with your fingers. Kind of take a look. Here we go. And now you should have clay left if you want to make another panda. And you have all the directions so you remember the shape. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the little piece of green paper that I have and I'm going to put my panda bear on top of it to sit. And now I'm going to put the background up. So it looks like this. So fold the back and bend. And you can place it right behind your panda. So I'm just going to kind of take a look at it. Very nice. I'll turn it around so that you can see it. And you have completed your panda bear and your bamboo. Now, as I said before, you can make another panda bear. If you don't have a lot of the model magic left, what you can do is you can maybe follow the steps, but maybe make like a baby panda bear, something just a little bit smaller to sit with your larger panda bear. And just kind of, you know, if you want to reshape a few things, you can do that as well. And it takes about, I don't know, I'm going to say, I always say overnight, but usually like about three hours for it to dry. And then you have your panda bear in the bamboo forest. Pretty cool. And you can look around your room and decide where you want to put it. So if you like this Art with Carol and you were watching it and you want to follow along or you would like to make it, but you haven't gone to the playroom yet, you can go to the playroom, pick up all the art supplies. There'll be directions step by step with pictures, how to put it together. And then you can too can make a panda bear with your model magic and your canvas. And that's what we have for Art with Carol today. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy your panda bear. And then we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.